Welcome back, Laserheads. If it's your first time to our channel, please take a second to like and subscribe. If you like lasers and all the cool things they can do, hit that notification bell as well, and you'll get notified as soon as we post up new stuff. All right, so here's another question we get asked a lot. What's the difference between your Gen 2 fiber laser and everybody else? And that's a great question. So in this video, we're gonna attempt to answer that question and point out some stuff, things that are different about our laser than everyone else's. I wanna start by maybe giving a little backstory as to why we changed our laser design. I would be of the thought, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And you would be absolutely right in that train of thought. Our Polymetal 30 has been a tried and true friend to engravers for over seven years. Uh, we started off as an engraving shop. It's literally what we did for a number of years. And then we found out through trial and error what engraved and what didn't, and the settings for those engravings. We messed up a lot of stuff, thousands of dollars of stuff, guns, knives, all kinds of things. And through that process, we found a system that could effectively engrave what we wanted to engrave with repeatable results every time. That's the key. That was almost seven years ago. Uh, technology is constantly changing. Improvements in lasers are always coming to the market. So we wanted to upgrade our Polymetal 30, but without losing the capability that got us where we are. Like I said earlier, we started off as engravers. So now imagine you've been using this tool for seven years and you get to go to the tool manufacturer and say, this is a great tool, but we wanna make it a little bit better. Most manufacturers would just look at you and say, well, you know, we have an army of engineers and designers. Uh, we don't need your help. But what we're able to offer them is maybe a different point of view. We're engravers. We have that real world engraver experience. So just maybe some things they hadn't thought about. With us having that great relationship with our manufacturers and our personal relationships with the parts suppliers, uh, we were able to basically build whatever we wanted. We got to have input on the design elements and the ergonomics of the laser. We got to be part of the ground floor of building our own laser, basically kid in the candy store. We got to do whatever we wanted. So first off, let's talk about the laser source. We chose the Rakus Q. Now there are many Rakus laser sources out there, but we have a special model design just for us. And it's very strict quality control guidelines. So on the market are like the QS and the QB models, but the Q is only for us. It has much tighter beam tolerances and power output requirements. And then next are the lenses. We use an OPEX 300 millimeter lens. The special coatings keep back reflections and double printing or ghosting from happening uh, in your engravings. We also integrated the rotary into the laser body. So gone are those days of getting out the controller box, getting out another power cord, and then another set of controller cables and plugging all that into everywhere it goes. All that process is now one easy to use connection. You simply pull out your rotary device, you set it on the table and you plug it into its dedicated port enter your settings in the software and you're off engraving cylindrical items. We also decided to open the sides of the laser with plexiglass. We want you to see what's inside. No longer is it some big, you know, manufacturer secret or technology secret. You can see exactly what components you're getting and the quality of those components. We also took ergonomics into consideration. A very common mistake that people make is they get their laser home and they put it on a table or they pop it up onto a workbench and the first thing they do is shove it to the back, right up against the wall. And they actually end up damaging the fiber optic cable that's in the back there. So at that point, you have a paperweight and that laser source is gonna have to be replaced. So we over-engineered the laser tower arm to compensate to prevent those accidents from happening. We also listened to our past students who gave us feedback about what they would like to see in a redesigned laser. Many of them had said it was hard to see their workpiece, like when they're fixturing or when they're doing stuff because of shadows. So we built in three very bright LED strips into the tower housing. Now our work bed is nice and bright and eliminates shadows. So thank you for all of our, to all of our past students for that feedback, those suggestions. And lastly is the aesthetics. We really wanted to give this great technology a makeover. We wanted it to be something you'd be proud to show off and set it apart from everything else in the fiber laser space. And we think we achieved that. We think, we think it looks really good. So we hope this helped to shine some light on our new Gen 2 Polymetal 30 and what makes it different. But what also makes us stand out is the training included with our machine. We don't just hand you a great machine and say, hey, figure it out. Uh, we take you step by step along that journey so you can be successful on day one. That's our thing. Plus, our after-sales support is fanatical. I encourage you, read some of our Google reviews or on Facebook. 
Listen to what other people have said about this, who like you were sitting there trying to figure out how to pick the best laser and comparing them online. There's a lot of information out there. Uh, this is where the real difference starts to become evident when you start reading our reviews. If you want to know uh, any more about our lasers, please visit www.salelasers.com or call us at 1-888-964-3568. We do lasers all day. We love to talk about them and we love educating others about what our lasers can do. So until next time, laser heads.